about three tons this week. Uh, yesterday it was nine hour and two minutes. <laughs> Understand this guy in the front? I uh, he's seriously sometimes he's driving very very well. But sometimes he just we have a monument that is showing the lowest temperature recorded here and I think it was uh, uh, minus 36 or minus 20, uh, 37. Kurnot is two meters behind me with no chance no chan chance to break if I hit the brakes. What do you think? I already feel that I'm a little tired. Left. One hour, fifteen minutes. I should make it to Kapunk. Okay, but I can drive four minutes more. I don't want to make another ten. <laughs> I 
riding my car three times this week. Uh, yesterday it was nine hour and two minutes. <laughs> Unlucky me. part of the road a lot of pumps on the side so you see what is happening with the car
don't understand this guy in the front. I, he's seriously, sometimes he's driving very, very well, but sometimes he just slow down without a reason. this guy from I think it's uh, a tonner of transport one of one of very big companies in Norway we are already driving 80 85 and uh, he still have hope to overtake us strange Here on the roundabout, we have a monument that is showing the lowest temperature recorded here, and I think it was uh, minus 39. Lowest temperature uh, that I was driving at, it was uh, minus 36 or minus 20, uh, 37. It was on the Colari on uh, on the border uh, between Finland and Sweden. It was extremely high, uh, cold.
you say even in the fog he is thinking about overtaking Talking now from him, seriously. What you think guys break or not is two meters behind me with no chance no chan chance to break if I hit the brakes what you think I should do this or not you know
not know that in Norway it's uh, this what he's doing it, it costs you three months of driving license they take your driving license for three months if you not keep the distance between the cars No, and this part of the road should be finished on the end of next year and we already drive on this road so uh, it's going quite fast and it's very very nice because this road before was very very bumpy
forgot. So, so I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna stop in less than one hour. And then I just respond to all the comments.
starting to be a little nervous if I'm gonna make it. For uh, this shell station that I want to stop for a night, there's a parking with a. I think it's still the biggest monument of uh, of moose. I know that the Canadian are planning to build a bigger one. But I haven't um, checked information about it from about one year. One time I was making break on this parking. Oh my, it's already minus 19. Uh, I was making break on this parking, and uh, when I go sleep, it was minus 17. And but in the morning, uh, the car even don't show any message. Normally I get message to start the engine because uh, it's gonna be problem with uh, with the batteries. Uh, and when I uh, woke up, it was uh, very, very cold inside already. I have uh, already problem with moving. I get up fast. I put the clothes. I start. Uh, I try to start the engine, but uh, nothing. Even smallest move from the engine uh, in the night, the temperature go down. 10 degrees and it was minus 27 and the battery is uh, freezed <laughs> I have a button here close close to my knee I have a VAS it's called VAS a W A S uh, sorry uh, V A S uh, it's Volvo assistance service. You can just put this, bu this button and you will be connected with uh, Volvo service. Uh, <laughs> but the battery was so low that it was impossible to call them. Just find uh, the uh, number on the internet. And uh, I call out this number. And I start talking with uh, women that have been in Belgium in the city of Ghent. Uh, and she asked me what happened uh, when she here. How cold it was that it's minus 27. Uh, <laughs> she said to me, uh, that the help uh, gonna be there not faster than uh, in two hours and uh, for my own safety I should run or do something to to keep the heat 
of my body. Uh, and you know, I just uh, stay in a toilet there because uh, the the toilet were are heated there. Then I just uh, a driver from my country come there, and uh, he was making bread there for the five minutes. Uh, so he make me a coffee and uh, let me stay in his cabin with him. So now when it's uh, more than minus 20, I don't shut down the engine. I was uh, telling you about this minus 36 or 7 uh, that I have in Kolari. It was so cold in this part of Norway that uh, I don't shut down the car for three days. The engine was running all the time for three days.
can't see this monument. Sculpture, sorry. I think it's a little more uh, than 10 meters high.
think a lot of us will go now. Stop here. company it was Volden to stand uh, close to Frigo so I just stop here my second day a little more boring see you